Welcome to Roger Two TV. We're here for the Cavaliers game. And we all need Garnet Raiders. This game should be fantastic. We got a triple A versus the A. And Cavs, what you last year did a great job. This is their first game. Great job last year, making it over to the the state finals or semifinals. They did a great job last year. Connie Garner Raiders, they won their first game of the season. They won it all right now. They beat Columbia 65 to 50 in their first outing. So we can see how these guys do today. Connie Burgundy jerseys going to our left, and the Cavs two Crusaders and the White jerseys going to our right. The tip is one by the Garner Raiders. They work quick. Oh, Gary Moore starts out with a block on Trayvon Cody. The ball gets worked around. Samir. Robeson, our coach, here, and he gives a good pass to Xavier Pollard, who knocks it down. Xavier Paler. Oh, Xavier Paler, I'm sorry, knocks it down. Good assist there by Samira Robeson. Yeah. And Trayvon did a lot of touches early. Yeah. Trayvon drives. Oh, this athletic and scoop shot Lele. Who do you think about that move there, coach? They swing it around. And that's X coach with the Three point, another one. Oxygen, air ball. Teddy drives, gets stopped on a good defense. Good skip pass to Tremarkey. Tremarkey drives it. Left hand scoop shot, no good. Rebound. Crusaders. Three ball side. Yeah, you're right. Side pocket shot by Darren Moore, no good. Going ahead and pick it up and start to advance the ball. Jamarki now has it goes baseline. Said he stepped out. Got lost the real estate coach. Lot of real estate problems this season so far. I've seen that happen a couple times to a couple players, coach. More, more loses it. Jamarchi matriculates the ball of the court. Good job. Gives it up. Long three by Julius Reed. No good. Ball gets knocked out by the Crusader. It will stay with the Garnet Raiders. So the only two points is uh, Cody uh, right now is getting it, getting it in. So where do you think the score is going to come from with this group? I know Jamarchi took a shot, a layup didn't go, but where else were we looking at to get some points? Yeah. Out the bucket. Yeah. Andrew Hood, the 6 5 junior forward, gets big in the post. Jones, the foul on Smith. The first trip for the Garden Raiders to the line tonight. Unable to connect there. Cody stayed away from that silly foul that time. He's a fan. Yeah, fans, fantastic, coach. He's yet to get going. He took one side corner pocket shot. It didn't go in, so we went to see. But he had one fantastic block to open the game up, coach. Oh, scoop me. Unable to it down. More. Gets hit. Goes to the line. That kid quick, coach. <laughs> so both teams have one foul. 
It's a relatively clean game, coach. Guys moving their feet. And everything else is not fouling. Moore's first shot. Oh, in and out, coach. Yeah. Second attempt is up, and it, no good. You got a foul here. Clearing out the young fella there. The referee said, you can't be doing that to the underclassmen. That's, a, that's bullying. We try to initiate him, coach. Fresh meat. <laughs> Freshman, fresh meat. <laughs> Smith has it. Swings it around, though. Samir Robson with the rip hip to hip. Oh, baby, coach. That was smooth like one or two dribbles. And he's at the rim already. Oh, baby. That's the end of the Gets the bucket. Yes. <laughs> no question about it. Score is six to five. And the Garden Raiders over the Crusaders right now. Good pass there for the lefty for three. He comes up short, fouls his own shot. Robinson, Robinson loses it to Hewlett. No, I'm sorry. Oh, left hand scoop is good by Reed. There was two guys' hands up there. Coach was this his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Smith threw it too high for Pollard. The 6'6 six, six guy can't get up that high, coach. 30 second time now called by Catholic Central. Yeah, and that gives uh, that last bucket by Conley gives us a three point advantage, coach. 8 to 5 with 3.59 to go. Back to live action. 8 to 5. Connie got a Raiders triggered in with the advantage. Teeny handling that ball pretty good. Jamarki gets it up high, works it around the horn. Julius, oh, pump fakes him. Julius Reed had one game coach we did last year where he shot the ball really well. Oh, Samir Robinson with the block, but Teeny is there. No, I'm sorry, 15. Klaus, Ryan Klaus with the cleanup duty. Yes, he's very active in there. Reed gets it. Gets it smarky. Work around the horn. Julius Reed finds it. Oh, knocks it down. Three point goal, Julius Reed. 13 5 advantage, goes with 250 approaching. No question about it. Smith Robinson pull up, no good. Ball gets tipped out, and it will go the other way. Lucas Seward checks in for Colony. Captain Central number two, Saul Arroyo, number 20, Jonathan Sapienza. So what can you say about Greg Davis, coach? I mean, he's been to Troy, got him a, a Section 2 title over there. Went to uh, LaSalle, had a great group of kids that one year before COVID, coach. You could do one of one with that crew. And he still maintained a successful uh, winning percentage over at LaSalle for the years he's been there. And now he's back at his home, coach, where it all started. What do you think about that? Yes, Samir Robinson with the bucket. <laughs> yeah. No question about it. Thirteen to seven. One fifty-nine o'clock. First. Period. 
And Cody, who has one foul, is back in the game after taking a quick breather. And they send Julius Reed, the sharpshooter so far in this game. He goes to the bench, take a break. They give it to Big Fella down low, unable to connect there. Oh, that quick that crossover crazy there, coach. Uh. Gives it to Moore. Moore gives it back. I didn't think his foot was out. I don't know about that one. But he's close to me though, coach. <laughs> the ball shooting in by the Garner Raiders. Cody gives it to, uh, to Mark. He swings it around. Oh, that's a big fella, number 55, right? He's the 6'9", 6'8", 6'9", guy they got, right? Yeah. Number two for Kevin Central gets two up and close with T. And T is showing him that I'm an experienced guard. You're not going to take it from me. 120 on the clock. 13-7. Looking to make some moves, make it happen. Samir tips it away. Gives it to Moore. Moore goes up, up, and away! To throw it down! Terry Moore, sky high with the chair. No good. Oh, his ball just bopped around, and Moore could not save it, and it will stay with the Garden Raiders. The ball we triggered in. Garner Raiders. 47 seconds to go. 13-9. A little four, four run right now for the Crusaders coach. Quiet as crap. Yeah. Wide open, Kenya for the three. Unable to knock it down. Moore has it with a full, with a full half full steam, coach. Oh, good kick out to Smith. Smith, oh, unable to knock it down. Cody rebounds it, looking to run. Oh, nice pass right down Broadway, and he finishes. Cam Curret, the 6'3 senior forward guard, scores that. Tomorrow, Shamir razzles and dazzles and pulls up Coach. Gives them closer, gets them closer, Coach. 15 11, and Colony, Colony Garden Raiders are up right now, Coach. I like Shamir, Coach. Him and Danny, Danny Small, Danny Biggie Smalls. <laughs> Danny Biggie Smalls, because those two guards right there, man, just fantastic to watch. It is interesting to watch, they're aesthetically pleasing to watch, and they don't turn them over too much. Who do you get the edge to? Put you in the spot right now. Who you get the extra right now, those two guards? I'm putting you on the spot. This is the first time we've seen these guys, so I see why you said that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's that? He makes every good decision. He does, man. He doesn't really force things. Right. We haven't talked about giving the edge. I was talking about being under control. I think this kid, Smalls, is a perfectionist, coach. Mm. I think he's the type of player that if he makes mistakes, he lays that at home in his bed at night and he thinks about it. Yeah. Because he really takes his time and he really takes himself to make sure he doesn't make mistakes. That's so true. That's so true. Back to live action. Crusader will take it out to start the second period. They're down 11 to 15 to the Garnet Raiders of Colony. Moore comes off that curl, and a little too hard there. Cody battles for that rebound, takes it away. He looks to go all the way to the rim, and it rolls out, but it stay here. Kim 
Connie got ready. Is going to have Tremarki trigger it in for a little four cross action there. Look down low, the big fella right away. The Lloyd's little jump rope, coach. He's only a sophomore, coach. He got time to grow. Yeah. Oh, good block. Wow, I thought that was pretty clean. Maybe a little body, maybe, uh, on the lower end of that, because up top it was clean. So Cameron Kulik gets that. The 6'3 senior forward gets that foul. Two shots for Crusaders number zero, Samir Robinson, Roberson. Samir is an excellent free throw shooter from a year ago. Let's see if he continues this year, coach. First shot is up, and it rattles in for one. Second shot from the Travis Stripe is good. Pierce, splash. Yeah, yeah. The ball gets back to Jamarki. He looks, he drives right away down, boy. He can't find it tonight, coach. Lucky Cody there with a nice little jab step. Comes off to the right there. Moore grabs it. He go oh, good pass and trap. Oh, Tremarkey! Pinned it to the glass. Where the bounce? It'll stay with the Crusaders. No doubt. Xavier gives it up to Tremarkey for three. Hit the posterior. They're battling for it. And Hewitt comes away with it. These guys are born in pretty good, coach. The Connie Garden Raiders. Oh, still by Moore. He attacks the, oh, good block there by Jamarkey. And they get on the floor. Oh. Cody didn't look up, he missed uh, Julius Reed. Yeah, you gotta be. Yeah, he is. Oh, contact but no call. Yes. Get in the weight room, young fellas. Lay in that floor. You don't like hitting that floor? Get, no, get in the weight room. Ball gets triggered into Cody. We're good around the read. Coach, you're looking for a post up here. And the offense against the man to man defense. Uh, oh, you got a little too much, too physical there, Coach? 10? Yeah. Rayo picks that up. His first foul. Reed gets contact on Royal again. A Royal again. He got two quickies, coach. Savion Royal. That's how you pronounce it, coach. He got a brother in his team, too. Two shots for companies number 11, Julius Reed. <laughs> Reed knocks in the first one. Yeah, he knocks them both in. Both teams are shooting good for the free throw line. Only one, uh, Hewlett, who missed that one and, um, and one, and you had more who missed uh, one out of his and one. Right. A little pressure here, Coach, a little pressure here. Oh, 
Oh, good try. Moore with the putback. It's fourth point of the game. Kick it out the team, the point guard who's steady in the ship tonight. Reed catches, shoot, splash, nothing but the bottom. Coach Reed said, I'm going to be one of the top snipers this season. He wants to make that sniper list, coach. No question. Robinson, whoa, oh, it comes out of there for him. Oh, Hewlett brought the ball down. Too strong there by a Royal. Teeny, spin moves. Four quarter pressure again. Or oh, three quarter pressure, I should say. Oh, I thought he was happy feet there, coach. We got 4.45 on the clock, 20 to 15, Crusaders over it. I'm sorry, the Garden Raiders over the Crusaders. Little Hezzy there, Smith has it. Back to the trusted hands of Shamir Robeson. Crosses up, pulls up on the end line. Unable to go down, rebound Crusaders. Good dump down. And Paula finishes it. Oh, Teeny, all the way to the right. Oh, he blows the bunny. The bunny blower. Yeah, oh, baby, loses the ball. Easy turnover. I mean, easy two right there, coach. Look, this kid right here, like, number two, like, he's a deer in headlights right now, coach. Full timeout, Colin Full timeout, Colin Yeah. Who scored that last buzzer for the, uh, good race? Oh, Reed is coach. Co Reed came to play today, coach. Back to live action. Ball gets skipped to Paler. Knocks it down again, coach. Another three. That's his third three. Oh, I'm sorry, second three. Did he have that? Uh, did he have that last year, Coach? When he was at Albany High? Okay. Oh, Trady with the theft, and he lays it up. For his fourth point of the game. 20 to 24, Garden Raiders are up. That's good help defense by Tremarkey, coach. That was great help defense. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No question about it. 3.07 on the clock. 24-20. Crusaders are with the ball. They're down by four, though. I don't know how you got a three-point shooter get open like that, Coach. He had enough time. He caught that clean. Get a shot up. Moore drives, finishes athletically at the rim. Oh, Jamarki with the skip pass. Reed looks to penetrate. Oh, he pulls up. Whoa, coach! That's a nice move there by Reed. <laughs> yeah, pull up on the end line, almost behind the backboard. Whoa, Reed came to play today. Yes. 
Law three more, no good. Cody rebounds it, looks to push. Oh, good pass. Makai's not able to finish that. And be effective at attacking the basket as well. 26 22, Garner Raiders up. Approaching 210, second period. Reed. Tamarki takes the contact. The basket reflexes for a minute. He will go to the line, shoot one. Let's try to go back. Zombie Royal is third. Team's third. Oh wow, three already, three quickies. The freshman will go to the bench. No good. Makai Gordon gets it. Gets to Tremarki. Coach, Tremarki likes to put pressure on the defense, coach. Likes to do that. Whoa, nice move by T. Oh, Makai Gordon, coach. Stepped out of bounds. Going the other way. 28 22. Six point advantage here for the Garden Raiders over the Crusaders. Coach, the game just before this game was a good one. You had Shin versus. Who was the other team? Oh, LaSalle. <laughs> LaSalle came with an uh, overtime victory, coach. This is first foul. Yes. No question. Yes. Cody looking to be aggressive on that top of that man to man defense. Samir passes over more. More for three. Knocks it down. They've been playing together forever. You see how long he laid that up? <laughs> it's six point in the game. Under a minute, approaching 45. Oh, that has he there, coach. Whoa, an open floor, coach. This guy is tough to guard. We got a timeout here by Greg Davis. He has the ball, come out of his timeout with a three point advantage, 30 to 27 with 36 Seconds to go before intermission. Back to live action. Reed all the way to the rack, kicks it to Gordon. Gordon with the extra pass. Jump stop. Extra skip over there, coach. Reed again. Oh, baby, go three birds with one stone. Julius Reed. Julius Reed, a six foot senior guard, is stepping up right now. Got a push there. And the back coach. That was kind of silly by Cam Cooley. I'll get his second foul. Cooley foul number 23, Cameron Cura. It's his second team's third. 33 to 27, 15.3 seconds to go. The only good thing about it, nobody gets to the foul line, so that wasn't too bad. But he gets his second foul, though. And he's a starter. Shamir navigates the floor. Good defense by Cam. Oh, good. He got a block. Got a tip. Gives it to Cody. He toes it up. 
Oh, it's a fun to run. No good. They will leave this gym for halftime with a 33 to 27 advantage here, coach, over the Crusader. The Grand Rangers are playing very well, coach. And this is Crusaders going first game of the season, so you gotta expect some hip hiccups and maybe you know, some time, some timely, uh, you know, time mishaps or whatever, coach. You know, some timing issues or whatever. Back to live action. Khan, he starts with the ball. Got a whistle. Quick foul here. Foul here. I think it's on Xavier Paler. Probably his first, I believe. His first. Oh, Cody gets big inside, coach. You guys are too little. Pressure up against uh, three quarter, three quarter uh, pressure here, coach. Ten seconds, coach. They got them razzled right now, coach. Got them razzled, dazzled. And the guard ready to take it out with Tremarkey on the sideline there in front of the scores table. Seven thirty-five. The goal gets triggered in. 35-27. Garner Raiders are up. Hewley has it. And Cody looks to attack, picks it up. Oh, uh, Tremarkey draws a foul on Darian Moore. That's his first foul. Second one, off. The pressure by the Garden Raiders is giving them a little bit of problem, Coach. Oh, Hewlett with the steal. Marky now has gives it a read. Oh, finds him, uh, finds a cutting Cody, who scores on a secondary break there. And right now, Coach Colony is starting to kind of try to find a way to try to run and hide a little bit, Coach. Yeah. Your largest lead of the game thus far. 38-27. Coach is 6.45. Too much body there by Hewlett. That's Hewlett's first foul. Oh, he got a second foul. I missed that first with the first half. Kevin Central coach really don't have a they don't have any big they have no big man. He just went straight down Broadway there. Yeah, that's part of the thing I'm, I was talking about with them earlier is that they're they don't have nothing to really fear inside like that. Right. But even, I'm talking about first Kevin Central. They don't got any size either. No, that's what I'm speaking of. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying when you when you going up against them inside, you don't have to really be nervous or feel like I have a rim protector to slow you down. Uh, you gotta be you gotta be mindful where Moore is though, because Moore come out there and throw your stuff. No, that's real. <laughs> first shot by Moore is good. He's one of those defensive guards that probably average a block and a half or so per game because yeah. he's definitely coming behind. Yeah, man. Second one, good. Tini has it, gives it to Jamarkey. Oh, oh. Jamarkey tried to go upstairs, coach. Wow, baseline there. Showing a little something there. Yeah. Way to attack, big fella. Yeah. Good footwork there by Jamarkey, staying with uh, Robeson. Yeah, good D right there. Tini with the steal. And Mohar picks his pocket, going the other way. Gives it to Baylor. It will stay with the uh, Crusaders. With uh, the Garden Raiders, 38. Captain Central Crusaders, 
29. 6.09 o'clock. Euler will take a break. Smith, swing to Paula. Paula gives it to Moore in the corner. And Moore tries to create space and then drives it down the Broadway. 4-2. Nice scoop shot there by Moore. You know he's going to do everything he's possibly do to keep these Catholic Central guys around. No question about it. And he's making sure that these guys don't stay around. Reed there, but he uh, comes up short. Yeah, that was a nice move there by Reed. Just misjudged the uh, finger roll there. Thought he was ice. I thought he was ice man. Fowler comes up short in that one. Robeson rebounds. He comes up short. And Reed comes away with it for the Garnet Raiders. Under 5:30 to play. Floater in and out. Oh, big fella, unable to get the tip to go down. Samir is an open floor. Gives it to Moore. Moore stops and doesn't go down. He totally felt good with that shot, though. You know he wanted it. Yeah. Outlet pass, and Davis says, let's slow it down here a little bit. He didn't have anybody down there, though, Coach. That's a, that's a, that was a one on five, Coach. Yeah, sure it was. Sometimes, hey, you feel it, you got to do it. Oh, and yeah, that's, that's the guy that's doing it right there. And that's Reed. 4-3. Reed. Reed is definitely feeling it. He got 20 points thus far, and he's been very one of the bright spots for the, the Guardian Raiders. That's his fourth three-pointer. Back door. Rebound, Chamarki. Chimar 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 throws a really good... A really good guard rebounder. He goes all the way to the rack. Baller blocks it. Yeah, you know, Chamarki does everything for the Raiders, Coach. He, he plays defense real strong. He rebounds real strong. He passes the ball real strong. He handles the ball. He does a lot of things for the Raiders, Coach. He has a heck of a motor on him. They got a 10-point advantage, Coach. 41 to 31 with 4.41 on the clock. Yeah, absolutely. And so they're coming to play. And I, and I figured this. I knew the Raiders guarded by Davis, Coach. You know he's going to be ready. Yeah, the big fella almost lost it. He got it back, though. And comes away with it is Smith. He kicks up to Samir Robeson. And Robeson finishes. So smooth, coach. Yeah, an open court like that, when he gets to the Baja, you can almost count it as a basket. Read again, coach? Too strong on that one. It's the posterior. Rebound Moore. Ah, Moore misjudged him. I don't know, Coach. I don't know if that's a misjudgment, Coach. He let him too much. Coach, he got to keep running hard, Coach. He's leading him to a layup where you don't have to do much with the ball. But you got to know your teammate, Coach. He, he, you know, I, he, you, ever remember, you ever remember him being like an energetic guy that gets after it like yeah, that? Yeah, but sometimes, Coach, that's, that goes out the window sometimes. It's a play that de denotes that you do that. So in denoting that, you got to be there, man. You got to step up your game and understand that, period. Ball gets worked around the horn. Look to look inside. There's Cody. He missed Cody. He was almost there with my second call. Reed. Oh, he missed his last two threes, coach. Might have cooled off a little bit. We'll see. Moore. Oh, baby. Moore. What the finish. What a three point opportunity right here, coach. To get a little closer. 41 to 35. And more free throw here to get them even more closer. Well, Coach, you know what time it is. It's starting to get payday time. And when uh -huh. it's get payday time, he's looking at that clock and he's saying we have a little bit of stale. Our offense is a little bit in the low. A guy like that, you know he's going to start to assert himself and see what he can do to help his team. All right, Coach, Greg Davis over there got his guys. He had a 10-point advantage now. And started to slip away just a tiny bit, Coach. What is he saying to those guys in the huddle right now? Well, you can't expect that you're going to maintain a 10-point lead and above against a team like that. you got two fabulous players on there that can get you a bucket any time. These are the type of guys that it's hard to go on long runs and go hide somewhere with them kind of players. So he's probably telling these guys, keep playing the basketball, don't play to the scoreboard. I like what you guys are doing. Keep doing the stuff that you're doing right now. now it's working. You got, you got uh, Samir Robinson over there, and you got uh, Darian Moore. And Smith, he's been kind of quiet, but he's been boring a little bit. And uh, Pollard, who's been hitting that three ball, I don't think he did anything so far in the, in the first four, under four minutes here and the third period, Coach. So what do you think those guys there need to do? No, I mean, keep playing. Keep playing. You say Pollard, I mean, he hasn't shot the ball much this half as well. So as opportunities to come, and he just got to keep feeding off those guys. He know those guys are going to penetrate, put himself in a position to spot up and get it done. And so that's what he has to do. Those are the only three guys relatively that have scored on this team thus far is Pollard, Robeson, and Moore. So I don't know who else they can get something out of that can give them. We just, this is their first game out. This is our right. first time laying eyes on them. So I really don't know what they actually have over there in their bag. Right. 
Right. I do know the Smith kid, Coach. He's a he's a baller. He's a player. And sometimes I I fought him. He has a, he takes a back seat way too much sometimes. He could do other things to get himself involved, like attack the defensive glass or offensive glass a little stronger to get yourself going, get yourself mentally into the game. You know, do something like that. You don't have to have a play call for you to get yourself going. No, you're, you're right. He's a very unselfish player, Coach. And sometimes he needs to assert himself a little bit more because he does have stuff in his bag to be able to offer. Yeah. Re oh, they missed a free throw there by Moore. And they get the re Oh, it tipped it off. Reed tip got the tip and knocked it off of Moore. And got it back after failing to get a secure rebound there. So you got to be happy there if you're the Garden Raiders. You escape there for them to be able to cut this lead into this lead a little bit more. The one thing I noticed earlier, Coach, um, with the Niski Una game, is that, oh, Reed, Coach, going inside and outside here tonight. Yeah, he's just feeling it. And I'm surprised, Coach. I thought at some point they're going to put somebody in, isolate, and make sure this guy don't get open shots and the looks that he's getting to make it more difficult yeah, and challenging for him. Yeah, they're falling asleep on him. Yeah, I think so too, Coach. The guy has like, what, 25, 24 points? And you don't, yeah, I mean, what's going on here? Yeah, he got 22 points right now, Coach, and he's been way one of the lone bright spots for the Guardian Raiders. Yeah. Oh, beautiful pass there by Moore to Smith, Coach. That connection was on time. And that's what you got to like about Payday there. Not only can he be a quality scorer, he's looking to attack, but not forgetting that he got his teammates and he gets a lay, -lay right there. Yeah. You got a jump ball situation here. I thought Cody should have went in and shot that. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe if it's some, if it's Chamarkey, that's a nice dump down. Right. But given the fact that he was it right there, he got he fed it and really didn't know what he what to do with it. And that's it. Well, I ain't gonna say no to do with it, but he didn't do much with it as I thought he should have done with that right. pass right there. Yeah. The Raiders step up the pressure here a little bit, take the balls out of Robins' hands right there. But you gotta be watching when you're trapping him and he gets a crevice, he can go downhill really quickly. No question about it. 43 to 37, 230 in the clock, third period. Oh, Morris, I got this guy on me. I'm about to go on him. <laughs> Lucky good defense, help defense by Reed. Long three in the corner by Samir Robinson, no good. Rebound the Garnet Raiders. And Jamarki takes the contact from Powler and scores, coach. Yes. That's a weight room move right there. Coach, and that's what you get from Jamarki. He's going to go downhill. Both referees fell asleep there, but the ball should be staying with, I don't know. <laughs> no, no that, that was a good call because it was a foul. That was actually a foul yeah. right there. It was a bump bumping right there. Captain, you got a foul. At least you got the call going in their direction. Right. Don't add insult to injury. <laughs> All right, 45 to 37. More from three. No good. Pilot rebounds it. This is the shot. You gotta, get, you gotta get stronger, coach. I was thinking the same thing, coach. You took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, Jamarkey oh, just Jamarkey! feels like. Jamarkey! Right there. Oh, Reed. Oh, he couldn't finish it, though. He turns around, coach. Reed is on fire tonight, coach. Yeah, Reed is definitely on Reed fire tonight, is coach. On fire. That kid plays with a bunch of confidence. Yes. And he has a touch. I can see why he played with confidence. His touch is nice, coach. He's hitting it from the outside. He's doing it from the inside. His last couple of shots has been runners. He's feeling it every time he gets this ball in his hand, coach. And now you got Tremarkey putting his foot on the gas pedal, doing 60 down the lane, <laughs> down the freeway, coach. And he's cashing in. No question. 49 to 37. Garnet Raiders over the Section 2 Class A uh, champs from last year. Okay. We got 136 to go. Back to live action. Danny Moore will take it out. Gets this uh, three-quarter pressure here. Full court. And I like what they're doing to continue to keep the pressure up there, slowing them up there right now, giving them more to think about. Yeah. That time is ticking away. Start pressing. Uh-huh. That's when Smith got to take advantage of that. Good skip, though. Moore. Robeson. I'm sorry. Ro Robeson knocks that down. His first three point of the game. 49 to 40. 1.50 on the clock, third period. Oh, Trey goes up, and it goes in and out. Jamarkey tracks it down. And Moore rips it away, gives it to Hewitt. Oh, he just, he don't, he wow. don't. Coach, we talked about that earlier. Yeah. 
about them not having a rim protector, having nobody to have to have no fear down there. And Tremarkey's like, I'm one of the bigger guys on the court here, so you guys are gonna have to do something about this. Yeah, Xavier, who tell, haven't touched in a while. Knocks it down from three! That's his third three-pointer. So back-to-back -back threes right there by Catholic Central, the Crusaders. Yes, fifth. Oh, got a, got a illegal blocking. 51 to 43, 37.9 to go. It's been runs, coach. It, they go in the mini run, and they go in the mini run, but the Garden Raiders coach is still maintaining a little little distance there, coach. A little distance they are, and um, Hewlett picks up his fourth foul. I think coach is going to get it, Curry in there, get him out. Yeah, that's a big loss right there. You know, I like Hewlett, man. He's a space eater. I want to know about big loss. I mean, he... Uh, yeah, I think so. I think for this team, I, I, you know, you, you have to put so much on Cody or the other guy, but he did take Cody out, though. So I don't know about that move. Big loss. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I like what he brings. We have a difference of opinion sometimes about, you know, players, all right? It's okay for you to go your way and not go mine, all right? It's okay. I hate that, that Pete. We got to go the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Samir razzle dazzles, and it drops for him. Samir is silky smooth, coach. Yeah, I like that, coach. That's exactly what he is, coach. He's silky. He's hobbling a little bit, coach. Uh oh. Three ball, thumbs up short. Oh, the long heave, no good. 51-45, and uh, Garden Raiders still maintain that. Oh, I see why Gar uh, Davis took him out, Coach. Only look, he didn't want to trade long to pick up a, a Any you know, silly ticky-tack yeah. foul or something to that degree. Yeah. Had all his guns loaded going into this fourth <laughs> period, Coach. No question about it. Who, Oh, why am I questioning Davis, man? He's one of the better coaches in the area. Are you kidding me right now? I, I'm telling you, Coach, no oh. question about it. I don't have too many question marks for this guy. I tell you, uh. he kind of checks all the boxes <laughs> yeah. when it comes for me, Coach. Yeah, yeah, not even close here. Back to live action. Earlier game today, LaSalle come away with a, vi a victory over Shin in overtime. One point advantage. It's the second game that Shin lost, Coach, by one point. And the game before that was Tamarack versus Bethlehem. And the Eagles coach came up with that. A uh, convincing we, win, too. Yeah, convincing. We saw them twice so far against Hartford, New Hartford. And now, uh, I guess, uh, oh, giving them a drumming. Giving um, Tamarack. Tamarack a drumming today. He stepped on the line there. Reed did. He didn't do too many things wrong tonight, but that one was lost to real estate. Yeah, coach. So what do you think about that Bethlehem squad, coach? You got Cam LeClaire over there, right? You got Barnes, the sophomore guard. You got Falio. And it's interesting because now that they're double laid and they switched up everything, and they're viable. They're yeah. viable. There's something to talk about. They're going to be right there. And when we talk about one of the better coaches, A.G. Iron has to come to mind as well, yeah, coach. No so you know he's going to have them ready and yeah. ready to compete. McCoy Gordon gets that foul. Ball gets triggered in. Back to Moore, to Smith. He likes to play that high post area. He pace passes well out of that area, too. Oh, good defense there. Scoops it up. Oh, he gets it back. Said he stepped out. Luke Seaver checks in for Colony. Cameron Turek. Got 7.30 on the clock, 51 to 45. About to be triggered in by Teeny to Tremarkey. Tremarkey looks to go right away. He takes the con takes the contact. Now, now Tremarkey did bring the aggression to that, right? I thought Moore did go up. I thought Moore did go up. So I don't know. It's a little tricky there. Yeah, it's tough. When a guy brings a lot of contact, you want to give a little bit of play to the defense right there, right, Coach? Yeah, yeah. But you can't see if his hands went down, arms went down. But you said it doesn't matter if his arms go down, though. I remember you saying that. No, I didn't say that. I said once he gets part of the ball, it doesn't matter if his hands goes down. <laughs> Jamar, he knocks down the first free throw. You don't like to throw words in my mouth. <laughs> I, 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 love, I love to listen. You know, I like to listen. I mean, you say it, I'm going to remember it, you know? Just say it with your chest next time, all right? 12 points right there. 53 to 45. 
7-15. Third period. Oh, more. Too easy. Too easy, go. Too easy. Way easy right there. Darian, too easy, more. <laughs> <laughs> that was too easy. Well, his 17 point of the contest. 53 to 47, 6.55 on the clock. Final stanza. That's a good play right there. Oh, good Good block. recover right there. Final stanza. And he scores. Arroyo. Arroyo. He's the first person who scored other than the other three, coach. Wow. And they get it within the four points here. They start to make a push here. I like the high screen and roll they ran with the big fella and Julius Reed. He gave him a nice look and Peller uh, closed out nicely, got the block, and Coach Davis wants a timeout to talk about it here. Yeah, get Cody back in the game too, Coach. Yeah, he's bad, he's been sitting. Yeah. To start to this whole second, second, I mean, Four. sorry. Final what, Coach? Stanza! 6.24 on the clock. 53.49, Garden Raiders over the Crusaders. Yeah, Darian made sure he didn't. Came over with two hands, got his hands on the ball. And that was a classic situation I was telling you about. He could take away his verticality because he got a hand all around the ball. They got five seconds on the shot clock, so they got to get the shot over. You know he's going to go downhill. Oh, I got a little hand. Goes it up. Comes up short. Or gives it to Paula. Good foul by Gordon. Not a foul. Not a bad foul here by Gordy. Team second. Two shots for the Crusaders number 33. It's Andrew Paler. And they get so ever so close, Coach. They had a chance to get close as have they been in quite some time right now. He can knock down these both free throws. 5.58 to go. High transfer. Sure Andrew Hewlett checks in for Colony, replacing Makai Gordon. Fowler, he has, Coach, uh, three threes in a field for him. And a contributor. He contributed nicely. That's the second free throw line. 50 50 back. Five for nine from the free throw line. 53 50. Oh, Reed right there gets a look. Oh, he turns it down and drives. Throws the floater, no good. The batter more comes away with it. He's already done. Good, good take right there. That's tough to, that's tough to stay, stay in front of it there, Coach. <laughs> yeah, it is, and he did, he took it, so the coach got to be proud and happy of him there, especially with the run that the Crusaders have been on and cutting into this lead. They could have potentially tied it on that possession. That's more third foul, Coach? I got two. I got two, too. Coach Parkins drives and scores. Oh, he tapped it away. Oh. Coney found number one by the Tang is first. Team's third. The foul's on team. His first foul. And, and, and now those kind of calls even matter that much more, right? Because it gets you closer to the five, which yeah. is two automatic two shots, right? within one possession right now for the Crusaders. 55, 52. Approaching the 50 final stanza. Oh, he found him. 
Hits it to Markey for three. He's flat out balling out here, coach. He don't feel like nobody in the court can really stop. We got a foul right here by Henny, but right now Tremarkey is going down Broadway and he has no type of concerns or worries or fears at all, coach. He just knocked out that three quarter too, so he's he, he doing it from both ways right now. Yes, yes he is, coach. Already up, sorry, four minutes and 37 seconds. Also taking a break after the 20, Jonathan Sapienza. 58, 58. Here, Robeson will take it out underneath their basket. Got a four cross set. Fine Smith at the foul line. Looks to be aggressive. Oh, he's feeling it, though. Oh, good rebound by Smith. Coach. Yes, definitely. Giving them an extra, extra possession because it was crucial that they get that possession, coach, especially the way the Raiders are playing right now and Chamarki yeah. in particular. That yeah, could Reed went cold a little bit there. Oh, that was Reed. He's still. Marky now has it. Teeny, starting point guard, swings so around to Cody. Cody looking to make it happen. He'll kick to Teeny. Teeny. Oh, rebound, Cody. Get a jump ball here. Yeah, I, I didn't like that shot by Heaney right there. It was like he, like he tried to, like he rushed it, right? Yeah, he definitely rushed it, coach. Had time on the shot clock. You really haven't been doing much the game. This is a critical possession right there. You got a six point lead, a chance to expand right there. You want to make sure that you get a real, real quality shot in that situation and that you're feeling it. <laughs> They're playing with the arrow. The arrow is pointed towards the Northern Raiders and it's pushed it back. It's not just pushed it back. Got a timeout. Time by the Crusaders. Let's see what the Bacle can cook up here with 3.46 here remaining. What do you think, Coach? What do you think? Of this? Time time out, oh There's no six-point play, right? <laughs> You got three minutes and 46 seconds left, so you're not in no time of desperation at all. You just right. want to get a good possession right here. Make sure you get something, maybe drop something to play, get something to Robeson or Course or Payday, either way, and um, go from there, Coach. So you want to make sure you get a quality possession right here. Looking for a three, it doesn't matter right now. I give you a three or a two, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter right now at all. You just want to get something. Obviously, Coach, you really want to get something going to the basket because a three-pointer can result in Payday or um, Robeson getting an and one situation going to the basket. Those guys are so creative like that. Right. All right, the Raiders break the huddle. They hustle over. Their de uh, defensive assignments. Back to live action. Gets it. <laughs> Rousles and dazzles. Oh, they hit the wrist there. That's part of the ball, you said, right, Coach? <laughs> I always heard the hand is part of the ball. I don't know what you're talking about the wrist. <laughs> I don't know. You change the rules. I mean, the rules change all the time. I don't know. Yeah. I, it's hard to keep up with you sometimes. I think you make up stuff as you go along. TD for three in the corner. Rouse. Oh, Cody, the nice tip to himself. Not able to get it to go down. That's when Cody's got to regain himself on that. Oh, Teeny! He's being aggressive, super aggressive. Yeah, Heaney is taking every oh. shot that in the book. Wow. He, coach, he, that referee should have gave the ball to Kyle Heaney, right? Like you said, that's the same thing happened last time, right? He got yanked down, but the ball went out. You didn't call the foul, so why, you know? At insult to injury that time. Well, I don't know if you want to, you know, consider that incidental contact or whatever. And plus, he, the situation that we talked about before is different. He had no really, he wasn't possessing the ball as he was getting hit. He was going after the ball. And he got so pulled. He got pulled. I, I can yeah. understand what you're saying. It's just yeah. not the same situation exactly, though. When the referees determine certain things, they right. determine all of those things. I think that one was worse because he got pulled down. You know? A lot of variables involved. I don't know. This sport don't require you to pull anybody. Here, drives, kicks it. Dump down Smith. Smith gets blocked out really. by, by Reed from behind. Reed playing defense too, coach. Oh, good, good feed. Got a travel right there. Oh, he got hit. Oh, he got hit. 
Well, yeah. I didn't see the official come right away up with a. Yeah, he did. He, he did. Wait a second. He got truck that time. Crusaders have number one, Darian Moore. It's his fourth personal. Team's third. Oh, close. So we were off base. Darian Moore has four fouls. So we got to be very. Remember I said he had three? Remember I asked you that? Yeah, and we yeah. both said we had two. No, so I said I, I, I was agreeing with you. I didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't say that I had three. I'm agreeing you said with you. you had two. You said you had two as well. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Cody has it. Are you serious? Because that might be close to the nail. They're driving it in. It's not all the way driven in yet, but they're driving it. Good block right there. All ball. And it goes off the road to somebody say. The 216 now. 61-52. Versus the A, so you can see the difference a little bit. You know, only you know you got more players that can do more things at this at the triple A level. You know? Yeah, I totally disagree with this team, though, Coach. Uh -huh. I totally disagree. Oh, the the Crusaders the the got like four players right now that can play triple A, double A, fifth A, A A easily. I'll, I'll give you three. Four. That's a four. Exam, you already played in triple. What we call triple A, right? Right. Yes, go no Okay, and Smith, we know he could play in a triple-A situation, right? So that's two, and then you add the two notables. Of course, you got four right there. That ball got tricked down. We got timeout by Greg Davis. He won a good shot here with under two minutes, but 157 to go. 52 to 61. Back to live action. Jamarki, you going to trick it in for the Garden Raiders. Cody has it. 155 the, the Crusaders got to get a crucial stop here. And they don't get a, get a stop here. And they haven't been getting a stop. Yo, Coach, that had, that nail might have just got hammered all the way in, Coach. You got 19 point a game. He's getting his 20 point, point, Coach. And it looks like he might catch it. Teams for him. Like the basketball shooter, Kevin shooting one. That was coach, early coach, that, you know, Hall of Fame. Is he Hall of Fame yet? I don't so think he's Hall of Fame yet. yet. All right, he's going to be there soon. He's going to be there soon. If he's not there already, he's going to be there soon, that's for sure. He got a chip, state chip. Section titles. Section titles at Troy, and he got, oh, no, I'm sorry, he had uh, uh, Doug McGinn. Bishop McGinn. And he got a sectionals at uh, Troy. Troy, yeah, so fabulous coach there. Yes. Smith, all by himself, throws it up. Oh, it's Three-point goal, Bucky Smith. And that's the stuff that you were talking about, Coach, about Central. him being able to offer more and has yes. more to offer. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and Coach, right now you have Payday who's hobbling and you got Robeson, Coach. Wow. Both of these guys are hobbling right now. Well, he does. Uh, Amir Robeson took a hard fall on that last lap. He, he was hobbling before that. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so that might have inflamed it even that much more. Wow. Coach, that's why he probably was on the bench. Maybe he was on the bench for a little bit lengthy of time, and you was like, well, now they finally got Robeson. Yeah, Robert. yeah. Yeah, but it might be due to his hobbling and what's going on with him, Coach. Oh, and now okay. if you look, you see Pay, you see Pay there, he's hobbling, and yeah. Moore's not even in the game. So that tells you right there what's going on with him, Coach. Moore is in the game, right? No, I'm sorry, um, Robus is not even in yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah. Moving this in line down here. Side line down there by his bench. And I guess he might be getting ready for like an offensive defensive substitution. Unless he gotta be really oh, hurt. They're still here. Active, Cody. Down Broadway. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't throw them helium passes right now. They get stolen. These what what you call them coins? Helium. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, that's stuck in the air. He's got to hand the ball well too, way too well. Now you got to go here. Ten seconds, you go. Good job. Rebound. You might want to put that back out. You got to pull that back out. Oh, he gets it. Oh, Cody, how many you going to miss? Okay. Hey, Lions, Cody. He says, let me take that away from you right now and take care of this. <laughs> nice to the lead, Coach. With 65, 55, 10 point advantage here. 50 seconds to go. More for three. Comes up short. Oh, Cody. 
his hammer. Four takes a fall. Ball stays with the guard and Raiders. All, so, that, all that contact, Coach, no, no foul. Basketball is a contact sport. Right, he just rehas it for three guys. He turned it to an each round. He called that late, Coach. <laughs> It's better to get it late and right than early and wrong. No, that was real late. It's better to get it late and right than <laughs> early and wrong. No, Coach, you didn't, you didn't say it right. Sit here, Is it better to be real late? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, I'm telling you right now, if you don't want the coach chewing you out when you up with a 10-point lead with 40 point seconds left, I'll be real late. <laughs> Samira Roberson comes back in, Coach. They're down 10 with 40.7 on the clock. Yeah, because they need to they need to get going, need something real fast, Coach. And, and now, Coach, and also you well, right now, that's not a smart foul by Tremarkey because oh, the line now. for all the better two shots. And but uh, com yeah, conversely on the other end, Coach, ball. it makes it really difficult now for Crusaders to have an opportunity because it's automatic two shots now. That's two shots for the Crusaders number five, Army Smith. Army Smith will coach the line to try to dig into this deficit. And the people in this Coaches versus Cancer event here, Coach, the last game of the night, they're starting to matriculate out the door. Yep, they feel like it's academic at this point, and it's time to head for the hills. Hawks down the first. Chuck Monsanto It'd be funny if they wake up tomorrow morning and they find out the, 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 the Raiders came back and won this game. How would they feel after that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it goes up the glass hard. It like some park stuff right there, Coach. You got a lot of time. Yep. Makes up his second Make the free throw, one. foul real quick. Jeez, you gotta play the foul game. I mean, I can see where they're, where they're going with that. I mean, you throw it off the rim and you get a three-pointer, then you're down by six, two possessions, two with 38 points seconds four. left. I can see that. Listen to the guy to the line anyway. Number one, Peter Hoping that. You're hoping on that. That's not a, you got a lot of time. You got to do that desperation stuff right there. You don't got a lot of time, Coach. It's 38 seconds and you're down that's by That's eternity. No, no, nah, no, it's not. Especially with the new rules, that's definitely not an eternity. Stop. 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 You get automatic two shots. That's all right. It might be a bad free throw, free throw shooter up there. Yeah, that's Tini, a lot of. Tini makes the first one. Oh, now, 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 oh, now the players are efficient from the free throw line now. Okay, all right. A 50 50, coach. So you missed the first, the, guy, the chances of making the second is pretty high. Yeah. Robeson throws it up, no good. His read comes down with it. And it looks like Coach uh, Garden Raiders, Coach, showing that senior leadership. You gotta get twins like this. Yes, you are. Cody gets up. The first one. Good. I wonder who the fans think is the game player of the game. Well, let's ask him. <laughs> Second one. Good. Who you guys think is the player of the game that's been out there watching? Who would you choose? Give it a vote. Three ball. No good there by Moore. Who's Reed? Give it across the line, the time line. We got four seconds. Two to one. That is doing it, Coach. It's going to win. Final score. Murray Reeves in Colony 69. The Sears in Capital Center. He's still in the game, Coach. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Somebody, Just Jacob said Cam Tremarkey should be your MVP. So Just Jacob is going with Cam Tremarkey as his vote for the MVP. He's the only, he's the only one that voted, huh? <laughs> Thus far. Okay. We better hurry up. We better close up shot. Okay, let's talk about this real quick. We'll close up this. Put a uh, pin on this game here. Um, your thoughts about both teams. Let's start with uh, Crusaders, man. What do you, uh, you know, the first game out, so you know they got to get familiar with one another and everything else. Um, how do you think? Uh, what they need to do to get back uh, to the winning ways like no, they did last no, year? Nothing, nothing. They, they need nothing. They can continue to play like they've been playing, like they have been playing in the past, and do what they did tonight. 
you got to take your hats off to a Colony team. That's a viable team that came in here that they played against. That was nothing short of feeling like the Colony, um, the Crusaders was coming here and just walk away with this game at all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no question. So, uh, so what are your thoughts about Colleen, man? Are you the real deal? We saw Green Tech, we saw Shen, we saw Niskew, are they the real deal? Colony is definitely the real deal, Coach. Just with their personnel, what they have, what you saw tonight, and then you couple that with Greg Davis and what he's able to bring to the table and leading the crew and coaching the team, Coach. You know they have the pieces. You saw Julius C. Reed emerge tonight with 27 points, so he's a viable source, Coach. So you got Trey Mon, you got Trey, you got um, Tremarkey, Coach. These guys are poised to make a run, and they can beat anybody on any given night. Sounds good to me. That'll do it for you, Moji. I mean, I'm sorry. That'll do it for you two teams. Hoop Hoop said he got Cam too. Well, that's two cams? That's got two cams. Wow. We got to sit back and think about this one, Coach. <laughs> for real. <laughs> All right, people. Thanks. Uh, thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. Peace. Peace. You two TV post game report. We're here with the winning coach. Coach Greg Davis of Colony Garden Raiders. Now, you came in this game knowing that you had two fabulous players on the opposite team. What would you do to the game plan for them? Because it's like you guys did a really good job against them. Yeah, I think we just kind of stuck to our principles. You know what I mean? I think when you have two exceptional players like they do, it's hard sometimes. You like to throw different things at them and do all these types of things. But it's so early in the year that we're just looking to kind of stay consistent in what we're doing. So talking about getting to the helpline, make sure that we're there in the paint, make sure that we wall up on any drives and get to shooters and do those types of things. That's the baseline of what we're trying to accomplish every day. So if we do those things really well or exceptionally well like we did tonight, then usually we'll come out with a win. So it wasn't anything elaborate or special, but it was just things that we need to make sure we do all the time. Yeah, like you said, the season is young. Mm -hmm. But your second game, you're undefeated right now. Is there, in those two games, including this one, did you learn anything new about your team in the short amount of time you had with them in the season? Yeah, I think the, the thing that I learned the most was how much they want it. I mean, we came out on Friday night, and we were on fire in the first quarter because it was our first game, and we were hyped up, um, and we put up a, a good number of points. And then tonight, uh, I think they showed their resiliency. First play of the game, we're looking like we have a wide-open layup, and you know, Darian sends it into the stands, and we're kind of rallying a little bit, but we kept fighting and kept coming, you know, kept going and kept doing the things that we need to do, and came out of here with a win because that's who they are. They're just resilient and tough kids. Now, what does that do for the psyche of the psychology of your kids coming in and getting a timely victory like this? What does that do for their confidence in the psyche of the Colony basketball team? Yeah, hopefully it, it gains confidence, but we don't want to go overboard. You know what I mean? Like we said, it's game two, so we can't take of it. This isn't the sectional title. That's not played until, you know, February. So we have a lot to get better at, a lot to build on. Our team is going to make transformations. Guys are going to go through slumps, and guys are going to do this and that. But I think the consistency and what the energy and they bring in every day is, is obviously proving well for us right now. We just need to keep that going. Um, but, yeah, we never want to be too high, never want to be too low. Always that consistency and just keep building as the year goes on. What do you think was the turning point in that game where you kind of like felt like you might have wrestled it and brought it under control? Yeah, I think, I mean, we had the lead at six for a while. It's six at the half, then it was six after quarter three. And then we had some just timely baskets, you know what I mean? I think that was the thing. Our press looked good. Um, we, had a good we had a good take by Cam Shermark. He had a good layup. And then uh, JR just takes a quick steal, right, when they're kind of trying to rush. We score again, now all of a sudden it's ten. And I think that kind of made us settle in like, hey, all right, we got this if we just keep playing our way and our style of basketball. And I think it ended up working out for us. Now, your goal, was your goal of the press to slow them down? Because it didn't look like you were really trying to turn them over, knowing that they have decent, good ball handlers. Was it kind of to control the game clock a little bit, slow them down a little bit? What was that thought process? Yeah, I mean, obviously those two kids are great athletes, so we want to make sure that the game is in our favor athletically. And we like to run, so it's a good way to slow the other team down while we maybe catch a beat. Right? And we're still moving in our press, but it's not anything that's going to wear us out too bad. Um, and as you guys saw, we're pretty deep, so we can go into the bench if we need to and continue to keep pushing. But I think the biggest thing is it just changes the pace. So it makes them think about what we're doing. We can change it up. We can do this. We can do that. We have options to go to. The press is one of them. Maybe something that we're with for a while. Maybe something that we go away from. But it's just something that we have. You know what I mean? And I think it's important, and it fits our guys really well. Speaking of your bench, I apologized, but um, not knowing the big fella name offhand. Mm -hmm. Lucas. Big guy. 55. 
Lucas Siever. Talk yeah. to me about you're getting him meaningful minutes to get his yeah. feet wet, sure. get his confidence, get his feet under him. A lot of sometimes coaches sit guys like that on the yeah. bench and they feel like ready and contribute right away. Talk right. to me about that. Yeah, I think it's important for him to see how the game feels. And like we talked about in the pregame and the preseason show, like he's 15, so he's still learning his body at 6'9. Um, and being 15 years old. So the stuff you saw today, like his positioning is really good and it's going to continue to grow. Didn't finish as well today that we normally want to see him, but that takes time and he's young. So he just needs to continue to keep working, which we, which he does every day. Be patient and his shots will fall. 100%. Colt. You had a couple, it was a couple runs in there by both teams. They got down to what, four maybe, maybe even close to mm-hmm. three. Um, what, 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 what was the cause of those moves when he's in the game? Yeah, it's just I think it's just our energy and our fatigue. When we get tired, right, obviously we're pressing a lot. Uh, we're playing quick on offense. We're doing those types of things. I think we get fatigued. And then, like most kids do, they stop thinking and just start playing. So that's a good time for a timeout. Hopefully you get a foul, right, or, or the ball goes out of bounds. They can take a breath and kind of reorganize uh, themselves. And that's where the execution piece comes in. That's what we're trying to do every day in practice. So as long as we have a moment to get that back, then I think we're in good shape. But, yeah, I think the runs, I mean, that's just basketball. You know, teams are going to score six in a row. You're going to score six in a row. But if you kind of take it all in stride and stay calm, which I think we, we do a pretty good job of, I think we're in good shape. Final question and let you get up. Um, I'm out of here, Coach. Um, I'm drawing a blank here. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to close out because I'm drawing a, I'm drawing a big – oh. Was part of your process of Tremarkey going to the basket, was y'all game plan knowing that the rim protector of Crusaders really wasn't existent? Was that part of the game plan and knowing that? I think it's just part of our game plan in general. Like, we have size. We have guards that can go. Uh, Cam is one of those guys. And he does a really great job around the rim, which is like his bread and butter. Uh, but we also saw, he, you know, we saw he knocked down a big three for us late. Um, but I think having the team – uh, have to worry about so much pressure interior right on the inside allows us to get into the paint, jump stop, find JR, find Cam, find other shooters. You know, uh, Pete Tenney put up a couple. So the, the, the mindset of us is get to the paint and then create. I mean, that's what our offense does. That's what good basketball is about is getting pressure on the defense and then playing off of it. Coach, great job. I see you continue your winning ways from every stop that you have. And I know this stop right here, the last stop where we talked about, yeah. couldn't appreciate it more. Absolutely. Getting off to a great start. Colony community, colony faithful, colony guy. That's right. Been having to a better individual. Good awesome. job, Coach. Thanks so much. Appreciate right. it. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Mojo Zoo TV post game report. We're here with the winning player of the winning team, Colony Garden Raiders, Cam Chamarkey. Now, Cam, man, you guys came out here. Wasn't fearful. You knew who you were going up against. You guys came out and you played hard. So, talk to me, what was the preparation for this type of matchup tonight? Uh, I mean, Coach had us ready. Um, all of our players were ready to go, 1 through 12. I mean, we came out hot. We, we got to an early start. We got up. I mean, we were, we were well prepared. They were obviously well prepared. Uh, credit to them. They were a great team, but we just got the win tonight. So, what do you think what your advantages were tonight against this, uh, this tough Crusaders? Um, I mean, we, we played the way we should, the way we played. Um, Friday, I mean, Julius Reed, he's right to my right. He shot, shot the heck out of the ball. So, yeah. I mean, all the credit goes to him, really. He had, a, he had a huge night knocking out threes, drawing attention, freeing me and, and the others up for easy buckets. Yes. Hey, we talked about earlier in the game that Crusaders lacked really a presence inside as a rim protector. Is that something that you picked up on and you took advantage of? Um, I mean, to me, whoever's standing in front of the rim, I'm ready to finish on. So, I don't care if he's seven foot or if, he, if he's a smaller physical guy. I'm just ready to go downhill and finish on him. Well, take us to that dunk. Speaking of which, well, I can believe you because the way you went for that two-hand dunk, I was surprised that you just took off. Take us through that a little bit. Um, I mean, I got one last game um, in, in traffic, so, I mean, I feel myself a little bit. So I went up there. I just missed it. I got hit on the arm a little bit, but I'll throw it on the next one. What can we expect from the Colony Raiders moving forward? What is, what is your excitement about this I team? Mean, Talk to I'm me a little bit. Crazy excited. I mean, you saw out there tonight we, we played – Great basketball. Um, I'm excited to see what we have. We have high expectations, obviously. We want to beat everybody. We know we can beat everybody. We just have to show it. Well, good job tonight, man. Um, we're, we're very excited about your maturation. Coach is one of your biggest fans. Uh-huh. Seeing you come through and the things, you shot the ball well, you drive well, and you dish the ball well, and you rebound well. You do a plethora of things for this team to be successful. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. 100%. YouTube TV post-game report. I'm here with Julius Reed, uh, the player of the game for the Colony Garnet Raiders. You played a fabulous game against Crusaders, man. Your jump shot was on fire. What got into you tonight? Um, coach just let me shoot and practice. He told me to take my time, get into my rhythm. And after I made my first one, I just knew that 
It was gonna be a night. Now, uh, we didn't we didn't put you on our snipers list last year. Did it have anything to do with that? Where your where your shot was going down tonight? <laughs> I mean, it hurt a little bit, but I'm gonna show that I'll be on that snipers list this year. All right. Talk to me. You know you're going against a Crusaders team who's tough. You know all the hype about them coming in, playing against Payday, Robertson, very good guards. But tonight, tonight you were the better guard out of everybody tonight. Talk to me about your mindset and coming into tonight. Um, well, Coach got us very prepared for the game. He told us that they're going to be a very tough duo to stop. And we stopped them, and he just let me keep going. So I just kept going on the offensive side. Now, what was going through your mindset? Those guys kind of cut the lead. They almost got, to, they got it down to the closest three after you guys were kind of not cruising but feeling a little comfortable with a little cushion. When they cut it in that, what was your mindset and what you guys thought you needed to do? Slow the ball down a little bit, get back to what we were doing, and that's what we did, and we pulled out the win. Talk to me about this season, what you're looking at, the Guardian Raiders, tell me your excitement and what you guys think you could accomplish. Um, I think we – can accomplish a lot. We can win a lot of basketball games if we keep playing how we're playing. You talked about uh, the offense, your shooting, coach, and you do that. I thought you played a really solid game on the defensive end as well. You got a couple still with active hands, helping your teammates out. Talk about your defense as well. Um, my role on defense is just to talk, put everybody in the right positions, and then when the ball comes to me, I just get the steals. Well, I'll just say this finally, man. You were straight balling out there tonight. You um, was a catalyst, 27 points. Uh, defensive, like Coach said, making timely passes, timely decisions. Well-earned victory coming here against, against a good Crusader team. Great job. YouTube TV player of the game, Julie C. Reed. Thank you.